With our first severe weather threat of the season upon us, now is the time to make sure you are set up to get severe weather warnings if one was issued, issued in your area. We're going to send things over to meteorologist Jess Langlois now to tell us what you can do to make sure you're prepared. When severe weather is in the forecast, it's always important to make sure you have multiple ways set up to get severe weather alerts if a warning is issued for your area and have a plan to seek shelter quickly if one is issued. Remember, storm sirens are only designed to be heard outdoors and you should never rely on them as your primary way to get warnings. There are plenty of other options though. If you live in Eau Claire County, you can sign up for the county's emergency alert system and choose to have alerts sent to you via text, phone call, or email. We strongly encourage you to sign up for it. It's, you know, it's not a hassle. It's, you don't, you know, you're not going to be getting messages every single day from it. So it could be life-saving and, you know, that's just one option. We encourage you to have several other ways to get alerts too. You can also download our Storm Tracker 18 weather app which will alert you of warnings as long as you make sure you have notifications turned on with your volume turned up and not on silent or vibrate mode. A NOAA weather radio is also a great way to get warnings, especially overnight. And of course, you can always tune in right here to News 18 to get the latest severe weather information. Again, that was meteorologist Jess Langlois reporting. We have a link to sign up for the county alert system and instructions to download our weather app on WQOW.com.